Hello my loves, I've got a collaboration today with the amazingly talented Trey's Nail Designs. This is her channel, I'll put the link in the description box, so please go and subscribe and watch some of her amazing content. We decided to do an Easter themed set, so I took the wrappers from some famous eggs that we all like to eat and brands and stuff. Obviously, after removing the uh, the wrappers, I had to um, I had to eat the chocolate. Someone had to do it, and you know, I'm not proud, but they were nice. Um, so I did, yeah, did have a little bit of fun eating that. That was the fun part. Now, this is all going to seem a bit strange, but I'm creating drips, and I'm doing them themed on the contents of the eggs. So the first one I'm going to do is Cadbury's Cream Egg. This is a Valentino yellow. I want to say 157, but I, I will check and put it in the description box. Um, so I'm creating the yolk of the egg. I'm not yoking. <laughs> I'm extremely excited. This is very exciting. Excellent, let's continue. So, oh, come on. <laughs> so I'm gonna create the yolk and make it as if it's dripping. So like I've dipped the nail in the melted Cadbury's cream egg and then pulled it back out. And as I'm doing that, all the layers are coming back out with it. So once that's set, I'm going to add Valentino Soft Touch, um, which is kind of like a soft white. And then I'm gonna add a color that I mixed myself using Valentino Soft Touch, a beige colour from Nail Vision, and a little bit of that yellow, just to make it a bit like milk chocolate. Because you know milk chocolate isn't really white, white cho uh, sorry, white chocolate isn't really white, is it? It's got that beigey tinge to it. So I'm trying to do the white bit of the Cadbury's Cream Egg here, but I'm trying to do it not bright white, because I don't, don't feel... Oh God, sorry. I don't feel that it would look right. I'm just waffling now. I'll let you watch this bit. When I think about yesterday My, oh my My, oh my Then when I've done that, I'm going to use Nail Vision's Saddle Brown, which is a really gorgeous brown colour. It's got a little shimmer to it as well. Perfect. She's got a lot of different browns, so I could find exactly the one I wanted, which is really easy, really good. So I'm going to go round that as well and continue the drip shape. My oh my, my oh my, the kiss and so I did. Now, this was quite time consuming and I've got five different themed nails. 
so I didn't film every single one. This was the hardest out of all of them, so I filmed this one to show you in case you wanted to do anything as, as ridiculous as this. Um, and I've still got them on my nails, so yeah. So there's all my drips. They're not the same, doesn't matter. They wouldn't be equal if you did it. That's what, you know, it's just one of those things. So I'm now going to take my Lucente Builder Gel. This is perfect for this. And I'm going to create a kind of dome as I encapsulate them because I want them to look more three dimensional. I want them to have some form and some depth to them. So I'll do this to each of them and then cure them in my lamp for 99 seconds. After that, I simply buffed them and top coated them. And now we're onto the fun stuff. So I've prepped my nails and I'm going to grab the Easy Tip Clear Stiletto Tips from Glitter Planet. They're just so bloody easy. I, well, they, that's why they're called Easy Tips. You just don't have to do anything to them. Literally, I just stuck them on. I use the crystal adhesive from Angel Crystals to attach them. And I'll just grab the tips, size them up, I will still just file the edge slightly just to make it a little bit more pliable because I have on my nails, I've got Lacente's base coat and top coat and then a peel off um, layer as well, just to protect my natural nails. Although they haven't peeled off, I've still got them on. <laughs> so I'll just file this tip and then I'll size it, make sure the sides are okay. It's worth doing that now, it's just a lot easier. If I was doing this on a natural nail with an intention of keeping them on, I would also file the tips once I had put them on just to blend in the wings. But you know, I'm not keeping them on, so I'm not overly fussed. But they came out beautifully anyway, so it didn't really cause a problem. Sometimes I think I put all these steps in and half of them are unnecessary. Hmm. How are you guys going with the challenge? I see other nail techs have also started uh, following suit and putting challenges out which is awesome um my challenge doesn't have a set theme you don't have to do anything it's just a matter of challenging yourself so it's a personal thing i don't want anyone getting stressed out thinking they've got to complete a set thing so i'm just going to stick this tip on it doesn't take long bob's your uncle fanny's your aunt it's done there you go and i'll do the same on all the nails if you want to know what's on my other hand, I've literally just infilled my gel extensions with the Lucente Builder Gel and put some of their fairy tale glitter in there and then encapsulated it. Simple, easy. Okay, so that's all the tips on. I haven't done anything else to them. I've not filed them, I've not touched them. So now we're gonna grab this I've had from Neo Nails since I first started nails in 2013. This is, that was one of the new glitters from Glitter Planet that I've got. I'm using Nail Mate Toasted Rose and I've got my big pot of clear from Nail Mate. I'm a Nail Mate monomer. So yeah, that purp those purple micro shard things I've had for nearly seven years. <laughs> right, onto the thumb. Now, some of these I did get a little bit out of shot. I do apologize, it's really hard. But I'm laying down a bit of a clear base there. Not a super big clear base, and I'm not fussed about going to the cuticle with it. I'll nudge it around a bit. But it's mainly to stick down the cream egg label. Now, I remembered the advice from you guys for sticking things down, and I grabbed the back of a form. Thank you so much, because that worked beautifully. It worked really, really well, super easy. So I'm really grateful for those tips. I forget things a lot. It's like I know how to do things, but it, 
just skips my mind. I'm a bit bit scatty, especially when I'm stressed out. Does anyone else get that brain fog? It's horrific, isn't it? Don't even know your own bloody name. That's my excuse for eating all the chocolate. I forgot. I didn't realise I was on a diet. I completely forgot. It must be a brain fog. Right. Pull that down. There you go. Literally that, just down and off. There you go. Okay. <clears throat> now, I had a rough idea of what I was going to do with these nails, like a rough plan, but I kind of changed it as I went because that's what I do. You know that. You know my let's give it a go attitude. So I'm going to apply some of the toasted rose. It is my one of my favourite um, cover powders. It's just so beautiful, so smooth, so gorgeous to work with. I need to try some more of Lorna's cover powders because I haven't. I've kind of found one I like and stuck with it. But I feel like I should try some more, really. And then I'm grabbing those purpley shard things from Neo. I don't know if they still do them. Like I said, this was nearly seven years ago. So, and that beautiful lemon glitter that I recently got from Glitter Planet as well. So I'm trying to kind of re replicate the colours in the logo. In case you didn't twig. <laughs> And then a little bit more toasted rose here, not too worried about the opacity, just want a little bit there. And then I'll go back in with the glitters again. Now, I'm not overly worried about taking the design right to the tip of the nail. I'll show you why later. I'm going to show you capping on this nail. So I'm going to pull out my big brush, which is my size 12. I, I think I made a boo-boo with this brush. And I think I didn't quite get all of the product out when I was prepping it. Because it seems to get very sticky. So I've got a feeling I didn't fully prepare the brush properly. But, but you know, anyway. I'm going to pick up a nice big bead of Nail Mates Crystal Clear and tap that into place and just drag it down the nail. It's super, super clear. There's no air bubbles. It doesn't run away with you. It's so easy. That's why I like it, because it's easy. <laughs> so I'll encapsulate that design. I'm being careful not to disturb the um, Cream Egg logo too much because I, I don't know how it will react to the chemicals and I didn't have any more because I ate the others and chucked the wrappers in the bin. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I just, I'll just encapsulate that one. Okie on to the next nail. We're doing the Dame Bar one now. It used to be called a Dime Bar, do you remember that? Mm. Yes. So I'm going in, just grabbing my little label, checking where it's going to go. And I think I went in with Toasted Rose straight away on this one. And I forgot I had the size 12 brush and I got in a pickle and I had to swap brushes back to my size 10 because I was, it was just, couldn't cope with it, too big. <laughs> 
there we go, back to the size 10, tuck it in, work that down the nail. And then we'll um, get that uh, Dame Bar label on and push it down with the form, same as the uh, other nail. These actually fitted really well and I don't have very large nails so I was really happy that they fitted. Okay, I'm just going to pat around that. See, so acrylic was a little bit sticky still. And then what colours? Now, I mixed a glitter using three different glitters from Glitterati. They were the square holographics. I had like a dark orange. Um, that's the dark orange. And then I had a dark red and a normal red. So I mixed a bit of all three of those in a pot because I wanted... Because the, the logo has got different oranges and reds in it. So I needed that difference. And then I'm just going to literally wet the area down and use my damp brush to pick up glitter because I'm working in a small area. I don't want a big bead of acrylic and glitter. That will just be messy. And I don't care how many of each colour I get. I just want the different colours all in the same place. So it was easier just to mix a small amount in a pot. These are super, super holographic. They lay very flat, so they're nice. And it's different because they're square. So... And I got a little bit of this orange, it's like a primary orange or something from um, Neo that I've had for a design I did ages ago. So I got that and I'll push some of the other shards into that as well. Again, just to match the purpley blue writing in the logo. And then once I'm happy with that area, I'll work on the rest of the nail. Super hello! And I'm just going to do a little bit of a marble, play around with the glitters, and just create something. You know, the marble didn't turn out very well because unfortunately, where the orange is so super pigmented, it doesn't flow as nicely. It tends to get a bit chalky and clogged up. So I kind of abandoned that idea and then just went in with glitter because if you've got a problem just chuck glitter at it it works wonders um so i'm going to just speckle that nail with glitter and then i encapsulated it off camera because once you've seen one you've seen them all and this this footage was well over an hour long so <laughs> i've managed to get it down oh yeah i went in a little bit with a little bit of this red from valentino as well uh, which i think is cherry bomb i think i think Okay, next nail, and this one kept going out of shot, so I apologise in advance. This is the Kinder one. This was a little Kinder, those little characters like the sheep, the frog, the duck. Oliver had those, he ate those for me. Just helping mummy out, you know. Again, it fitted beautifully, so it's worth weighing up which logo is going to go on which nail before you start attaching them, because obviously the cream egg was the biggest. So I'm just holding that in place. And then voila! It is done. So I'm going to do exactly the same, but I'm going to use um, some of the orange acrylic. I'm going to use um, some of the Cool Whip glitter from Glitter Planet, which is that beautiful kind of white iridescent glitter. And some of those lovely squares, but unfortunately, yeah, some of it is out of shot. I do apologise. So 
So I'm going in here with toasted rose. I'm just going to drag it up and then feather it down the nail and then I'll come in with all the other bits and bobs. Okay, next we're going to do the Oreo. So again, I'm going to lay clear down this time. Pat it and drag it into place. And while it's still nice and wet, we'll add the... Uh, Oreo label, wrapper, thingy, majig. There we go. Use the back of the form. Use this, the plasticky back, you know, the smooth part. There we go. And then I'm going to use the, I oh, want to see, I can't remember the names of all these things. Two of the new glitters, one is Cool Whip and the other one is that beautiful light blue from Glitter Planet that I swatched the other day. So um, they're really, really pretty. That's the one. I think it's like Blueberry Fizz or maybe not even that. I don't know. Don't Just don't quote me because I'm really scatty. So I'm just going to do a little design patting those glitters into place. So I'm going on to do the lint nail. Now this lint bunny was a white chocolate bunny, which Oliver really enjoyed. So um, I'm just gonna press that label in and then I'll be using the, oh yes, I remember what it is. There's this beautiful gold glitter acrylic that I've got from Nailmate. Now it was the first one, it's the holographic one and it doesn't have a name on the bottom of the pot but it's stunning. It's a holographic gold. It was one of the first ones that Lorna released. It's really beautiful. And I've also got a gold acrylic from uh, Glitter Bows to put underneath it. So I'm gonna go in with that gold pre-mixed. It's so holographic. Stunning. And I'm out of shot. What an idiot. It's all right, it will come back. It will come back, I promise. There you go. So I'm just patting it in around the label. 
There we go, tucking it in at the cuticle, making sure I'm not going too ham on it. I do get a bit excited with glitters. It's an illness, you know, it's got gl glitteritis. <laughs> um, okay, going in with toasted rose and a little bit of this, of the liquid gold, I think it's called. And then just kind of marbling. But I started marbling and then I just got really excited about glitter and I wanted more glitter. So I ended up putting a little bit more of the liquid gold as a background. And then even more glitter on top of it because I just wanted more. I just couldn't stop myself. Like it looked quite cute like this. But no, no, I wanted more holographic glitter. As you do. Do you know what I mean? It's just one of those things. So I started here and I was like, oh, a little bit more glitter. And then it just, it, it grew there into the monster that is my glitter problem. So I was like, oh, a bit more gold behind the glitter to make the glitter pop. But it didn't really need it because it's super dense. So, yeah, just loads of glitter. Oh, there is one thing you're all forgetting. Right, so I have filed off of camera and I'm using my Lucente top coat because the bottle that I've got left of my Nailmate Super Gloss, I can't find. I think I've put it in one of my bags by mistake because I've been moving stuff in and out of the house. <sighs> so I used my Lucente top coat. Look at that, look how clear that acrylic is. So frigging clear. Just perfect. Really cute. Love that. I think this was my favourite nail, actually. And then we'll do the rest of them. Very pretty. The Lucente gels are really nice, actually, because they're quite thick. Even the base coat's quite thick. So they are good. lovely once i've top coated all those they just need 30 seconds in my lamp um and then we'll get to the next part oh yeah there's still plenty more to do chaps loads more Just when you think these nails can't get even more strange, we're going to go up a whole nother level of weird, okay? So I'm going to make these nails look like I have dipped them into the melted egg that they represent. So I'm using my Angel Crystals, oh for God's sake, yeah, Angel Crystals, I get, it's such a muddle. It's my Angel Crystals Crystal Adhesive, too many words that are similar. And I'm grabbing the drip that I made at the beginning attaching it and then securing it using the Lacente Builder Gel. Pop it in my lamp for 99 seconds to seal that. Look at that! But we're not finished. Because now we're gonna add some acrylic to the tip of the nail like it's been stuck in the chocolate. You know what I mean? So I'm going in with Saddle Brown from Nail Vision and just making the drippy kind of splurgy look technical term. I just love it. Away from slumber, you can't. And when you're dreaming, you will be seeing a little demon dancing around. Baby, there's only one way, and that's the slow decay. Get a little earth, they will be a boy. Shame, feel sleepy, 
And then I am literally going to do the same on every single nail, adjusting the colours slightly to fit the drip and egg colours. you want now feels like you're looking for something better uh-huh uh-huh is this what you want now or is it because you can't forget her uh-huh uh-huh i can't keep pretending it's not getting to me never ending can't give you what you need you're misbehaving yeah it's getting to me it's never ending you can give anything so you can go 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 yeah so i can focus i just need a focus. now this white chocolate color i mixed my, is the one i mixed myself using Yellow uh, from Valentino, soft touch from Valentino, and like a a creamy colour from Nail Vision, and I just made like white chocolate. So that's how we do the drips. It's so easy, so easy. And then just um, top coat that with the Lacente top coat to make it look nice and shiny because it's like wet, isn't it? It's like wet chocolate, which goes shiny because it becomes more of a liquid. And then once I have top coated all of those, I cured them in my lamp again for 30 seconds. I then added some cuticle oil. Ironically enough, it was chocolate orange from NAF stuff. <laughs> and that was the final design. Don't forget to check out Trey's Nail Designs. I hope you've enjoyed this crazy Easter video and now you want to go and eat loads of chocolate. Um, yeah, I'll see you in my next one. Tally bye!